What is up guys? September is right around the corner and we've got some sneaker releases that we need to talk about. Before we get started, I post release guides each and every single month telling you guys which releases I think are beneficial to cop to resell. If you want to stay in the know, if you want to know what's hot and what you need to cop to make some money, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any release guides in the future. No further announcements, let's get started. September 6th is going to be kind of a big one. We've got a bunch of the Kobe 8 Pro Tro styles coming out. They're calling this the Team Bank Collection. There's going to be five styles dropping on the same day at the same time. We've got a red colorway, a gray colorway. We've got some team colors from the Lakers. All of these Kobe 8s have been pretty hot. After having Kobe Day on sneakers recently, though, I'm wondering if the market's going to become a little bit too saturated. With a retail price for the men's pairs at 180 bucks, I want to say some of these colors are actually going to do pretty well. But make sure you look at market closer to release day. I know it's right around the corner, but check GOAT, check StockX. Make sure you're copping the styles that are worth the most money. Give yourself as many chances as possible. All these will go live on sneakers at 10 a.m. on release day. And with there being so many releases at the same day, same time, your odds are actually going to be pretty good to cop what you want. Next up on September 7th, we've got this retro five style that is an ode to Mexican Independence Day. Very cool colorway. I like the ornate style on the back of it. Also up near the toe box. I believe we've had a style like this in the past. I'm having a hard time jogging my memory, but there was another white and red colorway. It might have been like a Shanghai or something, or even like a K colorway that came out that was similar to this. This pair is going to retail for 225 bucks. It's going to leave very, very little meat on the bone, unfortunately. I just thought that this was a cool style. If anything, it'd be cool to cop for personal. These are dropping almost a week before Mexican Independence Day. The reason I say day is I believe like the war was a whole week long and they might change the date each year for what the actual celebration day is. And then of course, a week later on that Saturday, we've got UFC 306 at the Sphere, which is also supposed to be an ode to Mexican Independence Day where Sugar Sean is fighting to retain his title. I'm stoked for it. All right, back to the shoes. September 9th, we've got the Retro One Low Travis Scott, a medium olive colorway pretty similar to what we've seen before like when i first saw this colorway i was like didn't those already drop but no they haven't different color check a little bit different color on that medial section these are going to retail for 150 and you already know what it is you got to hop on travis scott's site who knows when and what time he's going to drop them it's been pretty random the site's super crashy so good luck there if anything make sure you're tuned in on sneakers at 10 a.m. on release day. On September 14th, we've got an Air Force One Low, the 3.0 Paranoids. We've seen colorways like these in the past. There's some friends and families floating around. There were two other iterations of this beforehand, and they're all reselling pretty well. Most of the markets like mid threes and up on all these pairs, depending on the size that you're looking at. These do have a higher retail tag at $200. Definitely a higher cost of entry to invest in something like this, but it seems that the market for these has been pretty profitable in the past. September 19th, we've got a couple different releases. We'll see if both of those hold. We've got the Amam in year fours. We've got one specific colorway dropping on this date. The official photos have not really released. We've seen some leaked photos on different sneaker news pages, whether that be Sneaker News, Sneaker Bar in Detroit, or some of our other favorite ones to tune into. All that I think that we know right now is that both of these styles are going to be technically women's size runs, and it looks like some similar materials are being used. We can also expect a retail tag at 250 bucks. We know that at quality comes cost, so that all makes sense. The only thing that I'm worried about is people in the past that have copped the fours, they said they were hella uncomfortable. And fours already don't have a great reputation of being comfortable. They're just one of the more popular styles because of how they look. Everyone says that these Amaz are stiff and that the quilted material on the inside side of the liner is just not comfortable at all hopefully that doesn't affect the resellability of these shoes we should know a little bit more have a better gauge on the market closer to that release day also on september 19th we've got the verdi dunk low visti if i'm saying that right these fluffy little fluffers are going to bring a decent price tag for us they're not my style they're cool they're appealing to the eye and there's actually another pair they look like air maxes or like a shods or whatever they're gonna be dropping a uh, similar time, but they're just not fetching the retail price that we're looking for. Um, they're super bright, loud, colorful, cool to look at, not really my style with the material. They're only retailing for 135 bucks, and I'm seeing them on apps right now all over the place. 
There are sales being made already. There are active offers out there that are in the 300 range. I think this is gonna be a great pair to cop to resell. This is one of those pairs that you wanna check in with your skate shops. I've said this before, tune into their Instagram pages. Any of these skate shops that are selling shoes like this, they're gonna plug it all day long on their socials because they're gonna boost their socials with the interactions that you guys have because you're trying to cop these shoes. So tune into those, they all have different release styles. Of course, these are gonna be available on sneakers at 10 a.m. on release day as well. September 21st, we've got the Retro One Low Mochas. I've plugged these before, it looks like the date has been pushed back. If you didn't get the Mocha One Highs, this is your chance to rock something similar. They're only retailing for 140 bucks. One Lows really aren't my style. I really like the One Highs, but the One Highs have been super saturated. We're getting even more pairs this month. Midnight Navies, which they've already released those, and we've had a million different blue colorways in the past like four years. The market's super saturated. The price on the last Midnight Navies is already below retail, so I don't know why we're trying to release another pair already. But as for the One Low Mochas, I think there's still enough hype that has been built for the high pair that these are going to sell out and they might even have some resale potential. September 28th, we also have two releases. First, we've got that second pair of the Am Am in Year 4s. Again, we have color and style codes and whatnot, but we don't really have confirmed photos. There's rumors floating around so we'll have to wait until closer to release day to see what we're actually going to get hopefully they don't get pushed back past september but that's a possibility as well again retailing for 250 bucks get your big boy pants on something that i failed to mention before with the other pair of amas amam in your site does their own raffle if you log in create an account whatever you have to do then enter you can have these pairs shipped straight to your house if you do win the raffle of course you still have to pay that retail price but that's another chance that you can give yourself to be able to buy these pairs at retail and the second release on september 28th is the retro 12 barons very neutral colorway. I'm actually surprised at the action that I've seen on these on the Goat app so far. It looks like there's some decent active offers and some high sales, which is super surprising. Whenever I look at a pair of shoes that's about to release, I go with my gut first, and my gut tells me that these are gonna be bricks. Unless for some reason they decide to have a limited pair of 12s, they're probably gonna brick. With a retail tag at 200 bucks, there's just not gonna be a lot of meat left on the bone. People that are getting them early and paying a premium, yeah, they're getting them early, but they're overpaying for these shoes, in my opinion. Cool shoe, matches with anything. Just don't think there's going to be a lot of potential for resale value. That's all I'm plugging for the month of September. I know there's a handful of other releases that are dropping that, you know, might be on a hype radar or something like that. But I don't see a lot more of them being any profitable. That's nine releases that I gave you guys and more than a dozen different shoes. Plenty to be copped here in the month of September. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can drop those below, or as always, you can hit me up on IG. The handle is the same, at allabsneakers. Thank you all for watching, and do not forget, this is all about sneakers.